Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with Chapter 17, Finding Strings, All Collectibles for The Last of Us Part 2. Now, this one is actually relatively short and sweet, but it is packed with a ton of pretty juicy cutscenes. Uh, some actual fun action, too, where we get to do some sniping, uh, but as a quick reminder, all non-essential cutscenes and gameplay have been removed, so tons of this chapter have actually been edited out but we get you basically from point a to point b to point c to point d all the way through the collectibles and then we cut it off because that's how we're doing this all right so you can see here we made it back to the old theater with our buddy jesse and reunited dina and jess now we're gonna go ahead and find ourselves in a flashback here now thumby did give us a quick reminder we do have quick links down below in the video description so if you're in a hurry to get those do it but guess what the first one is already here it's actually journal entry one so as soon as you gain control of ellie head over to the far right side where we look down over this amazing amazing cliffside here and uh take a quick note make that journal entry now we're gonna trudge our way down the street here or actually the path as we get a little further down, Tommy notices some zombies across the way and suggests that uh, we take a few pops at him. So he, he actually shows us the ropes and lets us know that it's uh, he's a pretty good damn shot, I'll tell you that one. And uh, after a few pops, he gives us the gun, and we actually move to three different locations before finally advancing out, which is what we're doing right now. So we'll go ahead and swap over the guns again. Thank you, Tommy. And he'll uh, be the gentleman that he is and push back the tree. And all right, down the hill we go. And basically, we make our way back down to the building or the hideout where Joel is waiting for us. So we know a lot of people were really upset about Joel and how the whole first part of the story went. But that being said, you, you actually get a fair amount of Joel hang time, right? Like, it's it's not current, but it's still the experience. And, and I think, you know, it's it's actually pretty clever how they did all this, although still pretty tragic. All right, we make our way in. We have some words with Joel. They suggest that we should go and uh, basically look for, for a guitar, I think is what it is. I kind of was talking to Reese about plans, if I'm being completely honest. So uh, we'll go ahead and hop on our old horsey out here. Yeehaw. And as we get to the getting, we actually uh, find our way in a long story time here with Joel. Eventually, we get to this point here where we cannot go any further on horse. So we hop off, and as soon as we do, we're going to pay attention to the U-Haul. I think they call it the U-Move or something like that in this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop over that, and just like we've seen before, there's a car kind of uh, left abandoned down there, and inside the car is going to be a trading card. Now, i got to admit, that looks an awful lot like my GTI. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. It, it's like almost even the same. Well, r my color isn't rusty, but... I mean, it's kind of that white color with like, uh, I'm telling you, that's actually, uh, that's pretty cool to see that in here. Now, as we get back up, we find that Joel suggests that we actually need to make our way inside the hotel. Now, there is a whole bunch going on here, and I probably could have edited this out. But basically, I'm just going to make my way all the way inside and kind of sneak our way through. Now, eventually, we get through a little side crack that puts us into a hallway with some other uh, hotel rooms. And then once we get there, we'll actually sneak inside and grab the last or the one and only artifact. So this is pretty cool. He lifts up the broken down debris. We crawl up under. Up under? Questionable at best. And inside we find, uh, well, a hotel room that has not been cared for in quite some time. That was me giving my uh, expressed feelings about how <laughs> clean up needed now. Uh, all right. Inside we go ahead and unlock the door for Joel. He is casually waiting there. Well, hello. <laughs> uh, anyways, he comes on inside. Like I said, we kind of make our way through the hotel just ever so slightly till we find that there really isn't anywhere to go except for this little tiny spot that we can squeeze through. Now, once we do that, we actually hop over and uh, go into another room. And once we do that, we actually find ourselves right in front of the hotel room 107. And 107 is where that artifact's going to be. So, uh, Aqua Lime, huh? That sounds actually pretty delicious. I got to be honest, I've become a big fan of like sparkling waters. I've tried not to do that sugar. As I get older and older, I got to be more mindful of what I'm putting in my old body. And that Aqua Lime, that sounds pretty good. Anyways, we'll go ahead and slide through as promised. And inside this next room, we find a nice little hole that we can hop on through to the other side. And as soon as we do, as promised, that's where we're going to see room 107 right across the hallway. 
So after a quick talk here, it's one thing that is kind of, I mean, I get it, right? But it is kind of frustrating that, that it's very uh, consistent with how you can't do anything while they're talking, right? Like, I get it. They're trying to emphasize, like, the importance of the conversation and all that. I, I get it, especially when you trigger some of those optional ones. But All right, as soon as you leave the hotel room, cut across and booyaka show. 107 is right there. And as soon as you get inside the hotel room, you can see the dresser has been pushed to the side, blocking your path, but the artifact is right on top. So woo to the who. Guess what? That's all for both me and you. The Last of Us Part 2, Finding Strings, all collectibles should be done did. It was an easy one with just three collectibles to be picked up, but we'll be back at it with another heavy one next. So uh, for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.